Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on the multiplication of decimal numbers. And a reminder that when you're doing um, multiplication by hand, you need to know your times tables. So it's a good idea to just get that information and have it in front of you when you're working on the questions. Okay, so here we have some questions, some decimal numbers that we're multiplying. First one. 7.2 times 8. We take our 8, multiply it by the 2, we get 16. We'll put the 1 up here. And 8 times 7 is 56. We add the 1 and we get 57. Now what we do is we count the number of decimals in these numbers, or the number of decimal places, I should say and we can see that we have one decimal place here so then what we do is we we um, give one decimal place to our answer so then this answer becomes 57.6 next question 47 times 1.06 so here we take the 6 multiplied by the 7 and we get 42. The 2 goes down here and the 4 goes above the 4. 6 times 4 is 24. We add the 4 and we get 28. Zero times 7 is 0 and the 0 goes below the 8. So we're moving one step to the left, alright? So the 0 times the 7 goes here. 0 times the 4 gives us 0, and that goes here, right underneath the 2. Now we take the 1 multiplied by the 7, and that gives us 7. We move one step to the left, and the 7 goes here. 1 times the 4, and again this was with the previous part, so 1 times the 4 gives us 4 and the 4 goes here. Now, um, when you're doing this, it's always important to be careful that everything is sort of vertical. Sometimes it's easy to start writing at an angle, <laughs> and then it's easy to make a mistake if you're trying to add them up. So be really clear about where the numbers are supposed to be. And when you're adding them at this point, if it helps, you can just put zeros here to help you add it up. So now we add up our numbers. We end up with 2 here, 8, this is a 9, and there's a 4. Now we go back to our original numbers and count the number of decimal places. We see there's 2, so then we put this into, this, move the decimal 2 to the left here, and we end up with 49.82. And it always helps when you're working on these questions just to stop and ask yourself if the answer is reasonable. We can see here we have 47 times 1.06. We know the 1.06 is just a little bit bigger than 1. We know that 47 times 1 would be 47. <clears throat> so 47 times 1.06 is going to be just a little bit bigger than 47. And we can say, okay, that's, that's a reasonable answer. Next question. <coughs> okay, 8.12 times 7.5. So 5 times 2 is 10. 0 here, 1 up here. 5 times 1 is 5. We add the 1, and that gives us a 6. 5 times 8 is 40. 7 times 2 is 14, so the 4 goes here and the 1 goes up here. 7 times 1 is 7, we add the 1 and we get an 8. 7 times 8 is 56. So now we add these up, here we have a 0, 
6 and 4 is 10, 0 goes down here, the 1 goes up here above the 0. This is a 9, 6 and 4 is 10, so 0 goes down here, the 1 goes above the 5, and we end up with a 6 here. Now we go up here and count our decimals. So we see we have 1, 2, 3 decimals. So then we move our decimal place back 1, 2, 3 spaces. And we say our answer is 60.9. All right, 5.9 times 2.05. So I'm going to put the 2.05 on the top and the 5.9 on the bottom. So 9 times 5 is 45. So 5 goes here, the 4 goes above the 0. 9 times 0 is, is 0, and we add the 4. So that gives us a 4. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 5 is 25, so the 5 goes here, and the 2 goes above the 0. 5 times 0 is 0, we add the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. So now we add these up. We know there's a zero here. So we have five here. That adds up to a nine. This is 10, so zero here and a one up here. We end up with two here and a one. Now we count our decimal places. We have three decimal places up here. One, two, three. So we go back one, two, three decimal places. So our answer then is 12.095. And in this video, I haven't been paying any attention to sig figs. So um, I'm basically just talking about the multiplication of these numbers. And if you were in a class where you needed to be paying attention to sig figs, then your answer would be a little bit different, slightly. But don't worry about that for now. OK, take care. and. Uh, that was brought to you by Wise Guys. Have a good day.